So today, we're playing a ranger, and we may be playing an awesome build today involving a bloodsorn, blood goobert, and the big ball of treats. This tree of items does crazy things just like this. But we'll see. We have a lot of scaling vampirism right now. A lot of regen, keeping it going here. And actually, our opponent is bringing it back. But hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump some rank games with the ranger and see what I just do today. Actually, incredibly awesome spear on sale. Shit up crazy, whetstone is also crazy. A lot of damage. We could go for shell totem. But I don't exactly want to right now. I will actually take this dagger. A lot of weapons in the first shop here. I do want this big old banana. I actually want all these items here. But I kind of want to go for a hero sword, so. We definitely need to find a whetstone. I will see. Our opponent will have that shield here, so our stamina is going to be non-existent. Not going to be too good here, but we do have a lot of weapons. They're after using their help already. And smash in here. Now we do need to get some survivability here, otherwise we are going to be in a lot of trouble. So with that, we're going to be taking this for right now. We can't exactly take the banana, because we don't actually have the storage to fit it in. And we could do this, get rid of our dagger to add in our big old banana. So I'm going to sell the dagger then, and I will roll. Looking for a leather bag and a whetstone on sale is crazy. With that, let's go ahead and move on. Now, if we come across anybody with armor, we're not using our star slots for our spear here. But it shouldn't be too bad. We actually got a big gray hair at the very beginning, dealing a lot of damage. So overall, smashing here. Awesome. Another big crit to finish as well. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. So, okay. We'll be taking that hero sword, that should be amazing, and we'll actually be taking more storage. And I kind of want to take Goobert for a little bit of sustain here. So should we take a customer card here? I actually think we will be a little bit greedy here. Actually move this up, so then we should be able to shred armor like it's butter because we have three fire slots used here. So it should be dealing 12 damage for each block on hits, which is crazy. Another big crit here. We're getting lucky with our crits here, because it is only 13% chance, by the way, to get that crit. Also, we got our hero sword. That's gonna be really, really good for us. I do want this Gooberts. That should be also pretty amazing. We could take that hunger blade. We could take that leather armor. I think we do want to take the hunger blade, and we're gonna be replacing our spear here. Now we could go for steel Gooberts, but I actually kind of don't want to. I want to find a falcon blade sort of setup here. That should be insane. We'll actually be taking the cards. We'll take this leather bag as well. Now we do kind of want to go for a. I'm a little feasting here. Big ball of treats into Falcon Blade. Into a bunch of Gooberts here. It sound crazy good. And so far, can we beat down this Berserker? They do have the Amulet of Wilds here. They're going to be stacking up a lot of spikes. And it's going to be dealing a lot of damage. But we have a bit of a crazy amount of damage right now. And survivability. So overall, smashing here. And we actually got the Amulet here. Now I'm hoping that's not going to be the Amulet of Alchemy here. So let's go ahead and see. Anything but Dominated of Alchemy. We do have a potion. Dominated Life is straight up amazing, actually. That's going to increase our survivability by 20%, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and continue on. Our damage did drop down a little bit here because the spear does a little bit more damage than Hunger Blade. But our survivability actually increased because we did get this Vampirism, which should be pretty good for us. And if you get that Falcon Blade, it should be awesome as well. And with that, can we beat down this ranger? They have to stack up a lot of spikes, a lot of region, and 10 luck. But overall, smashing here again. Okay, pineapple on sale is straight up crazy. We do want this pair of gloves. Kinda do want this, but it will continue to roll here. Amazing potion balls. Let's roll once more. Now we could just go for blood gumbert since we have the hunger blade. And I think we actually roll here for sure. And we'll see. Now, our opponent is going to be scaling up in power with that shell totem here, but as long as we keep him below, actually, they scaled up tree in power. So this could be quite scary, and it's still continuing to grow. The broom and the forging hammer is going to do massive damage. They have tons of survivability with six regen here. So we could have met our counter here, because they're after scaling up a lot of damage. Yeah, we definitely better counter here. So unfortunately, got smashed just a little bit here. 
With that, I will be taking our pineapple for this round. We have our potion bolts. I'm actually gonna have this slotted in like so. We're gonna have our setup to be something like this, and I'd actually rather have our setup to be a little bit more like this. So our hunger blade is attacking that a little bit faster. Because this is gonna be doing more damage because this gives this two damage. And with that. Actually, before I move on, make sure our potion's in a potion bolt. And our cards beside our goober tier. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on. And we'll see. Spikes is going to add to our damage here. Which should be fantastic. Card to be removing some debuffs here. Which is going to be good again. The Reaper here, they're not going to be able to scale up as much poison. They are still scaling up quite a amount because, honestly, this is only one debuff every three seconds. It's not crazy insane, but it's enough to give us a good chance to win here. However, it was almost looking a bit dicey here. Actually, it wasn't really, because we we're about half HP. And honestly, which subclass should we go for? Blood Goobards? We have Blood Goobard on the way, so we probably should just go Big Ball of Treats here. Each Soul Sleeve would give us that guaranteed regeneration for the Vampirism. That should be a big power spike right now. We could also take Poison Ivy, since we're stacking up spikes, but it is not a crazy amount of spike generation. Let's go ahead and take Big Ball of Treats right now. And we do want to craft up this big goober really, really badly. We kind of got to take this storage right now. We could sell our customer card here. I think we actually will. I'm going to opt to move this in this direction because then our two food items are actually triggering off each other. And I'd actually rather switch this around, but we're going to roll with this for right now. And if we do find a another pair of gloves here, or even a turn up here, I will actually be going for Blood Turn, Blood Turn into Falcon Blade, into Bloody Goobert, sounds amazing here. It'll scale up our spikes, scale up our vampirism. It should be overall fantastic. Now, opponent is that Dark Lantern here. So, they're going to have that try ability, but so do we here. And extremely awesome. Really, really good for us. We got a Blood Goobert, which should keep us alive. Let's go ahead and roll. We do want that crit chance, that should be amazing. We'll take another storage here for right now. Add this in down here. And we'll continue to roll here. So Maneki Neku, I also kind of want to take on the Daily Fight. I'm not, I also want to get Hedgehog here. Maneki Neku is kind of crazy though. For God the item. For right now, it will give us that sale chance. And the resistance to crits here. So overall, not too bad. We're going to be getting these items the next round. And with that, let's go ahead and move on. We should have actually moved our fanny pack in at this. Yeah. Increase the speed of our pineapple here as well. Well, see, we're solely dependent on a big ball of treats here, giving us some buffs here, and we're facing this one with two chain ups. So we're going to have no buffs, which is really, really, really not good for us. Because we are solely dependent on our buffs here. So we should try to get a box of riches and a king's crown going here to protect some of our buffs here. So unfortunately, meta counter here. Here's that box of riches. So let's go ahead and take this first. We got the Amethyst Steel, which is literally trouble first. So we're going to sell it instantly. What I said we should have done with our Fanny Pack is do something like this. So increase the speed of our Pineapple as well as our Big Bowl of Treats here. That should be amazing. And we'll end up taking our Hedgehog. Slotting in here for now. And I kind of do want that box of riches, but kind of have to find some better items here. Especially one hard container. That will be that scaling regeneration for our hungry blade here. We also still have that hero sword here, so we potentially just want to swap this out for a blood sword here. But we'll see. Can we beat this pyromancer with that burning banner? It's going to be removing our buffs as well, which is not great. We also have a ton of healing with that sun armor. So we'll see. It's going to be close here. Actually, not too close here. Smashing though overall. We got that blood turn. So I think at this point in time, we got a stellar hero sword here. So we're going to take this penny back for right now. So we can fit this blood turn in. We're going to move our gloves for right now so we can have a crit chance in. It does mean we can't get a hard container. Also, score is going to be amazing. But we do need a lot of storage here. I'm tempted to take a corrupted heart here, but. As of right now, as of right now, we are just going to be settling for normal hack container. Also, squirrel on sale. I will just take one squirrel here. And I'm going to add this fanny pack down here to increase the speed of our big ball of treats here even further. 
So we're gonna have her set up to be something like this instead. I'm gonna add in her gloves at this side for right now. It's all this, so we can potentially take a squirt here. We'll just buy one. Can we actually fit it in right now? I think we'll opt to have Inner Squirrel instead of Hedgehog for right now. With that, we could take a second Meneki Neku. But I think we're settling for this right now. Now, we are crafting up this Blintarn, so we could potentially be in a lot of trouble right now. Especially going up this crazy setup here. They're going to have just crazy amounts of damage. But smashing here, we do have a lot of spikes. A lot of healing, especially with this amulet here. It should be crazy insane. And now, our Meneki Neku is going to be triggering our Blintarn. To be going super fast here, we also want to switch this up. So we're actually increasing the speed here even more. We're going to be adding our Hedgehog down here for that crit chance. As well as the trigger for a Goobert here. We want to move our gloves back up here. And we straight up just want to take our Heart Container. We'll reserve this. Another Heart Container is amazing. Double regen. More spikes. We could also take Jin's Lamp here for super fast trigger speed. But I don't think we exactly want to take that right now. So with that, let's go ahead in our Heart Container disposition. Let's quit and add in our squirrel. So we can have our potion in like so as well. And then let's go ahead and add in our lucky clover. And with this whole setup, it's looking pretty decent right now. With that, we have a lot of items I actually do want here. Not a lot of storage, but our build is looking pretty decent here. We'll just have to see though, because double axe is actually getting damaged. This could be quite scary. But overall, not looking too bad for us here. Yes, yeah, smashing here. A lot of damage incoming, and we did survive four lives left here. We could move our Acorn Collar over to give our bloody Goober that crit chance as well. Instead of just our Hedgehog here, because we are scaling. That Vampire's here. And overall, quick little DPS check before we move on, DPS-wise. Not too bad here, not crazy insane. Just a lot of little damage overall. So let's go ahead and see, can we make this crazier here? One way we make it crazier is actually taking a stamina sack. Adding in more spikes. We could take our Hedgehog here. I think we'll just take our Hedgehog, but not put it in for right now. And just move on. Freeing up slots here to find some storage. But I'd rather just stack up a bunch of spikes right now. I mean, Neku Neku is going to increase the speed of our big ball of treats. Our heart container and our blood turn here. So it should be crazy insane for us. And overall smash in here. And with that... Let's go and take our heart container. Should we actually? I think we actually just roll looking for storage. Glowing crown, another Maneki Neku. Well, if we take it and slot it in here, instead of a pair of gloves, because this is going to be 20% faster. This is going to be 20% faster on all our godly items. Now, it doesn't make our pineapple triggers much faster, but it is what it is. I'd actually rather have another Maneki Neku in. Let's go ahead and roll. More storage is a must here. Is there any way we can take it right now? Not exactly, I might actually want this acorn color as well. So with that, I think we just continue on for right now. And we'll see. Double Meneki Neku in, it makes our blood turn. Go crazy fast, and our big ball retreats here. So we just kill up a lot of buffs. We'll see though, flame up is crazy damage right now with those eye lamps. And actually just too much right now. This guy looked too much heat, had too much damage. So let's take our potion bolts. Let's take this acorn collar for right now, add it down here. We could add it in up in this position. What's our Maneki Neku kind of needs to be in this position. Let's go ahead and add in another hedgehog for right now. Sell our pair of gloves. Go ahead and roll. And should we take another Maneki Neku? It is on sale for five. I would actually love to take it here, but I don't exactly think we can actually get the value here. Until we get the target container in. So we'll actually, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and take it. Stop wasting our gold rolling here. Prismatic Garb is going to be amazing. A lot of high value items, just not a lot of storage here. So we'll see. Can we go up again this big ball of streets here with a lot of pets here? They went full on on the pets. But Blood Turn is just straight amazing here. It's really, really, really good with this whole setup. With that, we kind of want... Our prismatic orb down here. Now it does mean our hedgehog doesn't get that crit chance right now. So unfortunately, it's gonna have to do. And it will continue to roll here. Looking for some storage. Finally, a letter bag. We've had this hard container in our shop for the past 15 rounds here. 
And then we start off with a bunch of Vampirism with Prismatic Orb here. It's also going to be scaling our buffs even further. So overall, should be really, really good. It also triggers much, much faster. With Ameneki Neku. And overall, just fantastic. Even beating the Serpent Staff here with all that poison on us. Also, an unidentified amulet. If we get another amulet of life here, it will be awesome for us. But for right now, we just want our heart containers here more than anything. We can't exactly fit in this Maneki Neku. We could slot it in here, but we don't get that trigger for our Gubert off our Hedgehog. We also don't get that crit chance on it. We should also just have a crit chance here on our Blood Turn instead of just on a Hedgehog because. Honestly, our main source of damage is Blood Turn. So I'm not sure if we actually want this Pineapple. I think we just want to move on. Now, do we actually want to gamble to take this Unidentified Amla? I think we do here. We gamble in the final round. We should also probably move the Prismatic Orb into a different position. To get that healing amplification on our hard containers here. But we'll see. We have a lot of scaling Vampirism right now. A lot of regen keeping it going here. And actually, our opponent is bringing it back. And we barely want to hear just in time here. Because we don't have a crazy amount of luck scale. So definitely having two Acorn Colors on a Blitzrun here is the most. Because it is only 6% crit chance. Our opponent nearly brought back with that Dilwood Guardian. And that Spike Staff here. It's looking kind of crazy. We stacked up a lot of spikes. But overall, smashing here first. Let's go and take this. Gamble. Hopefully it's Amulet Life here. Amulet Wilds is actually crazy good as well. It does trigger a Goobert here. Again, it also makes our spikes do more damage. And actually, this should be amazing here. So with that, let's go ahead and roll. Another hard container. We can't exactly fit in because it is the final round. Unless we sell some things here. We could just sell our Maneki Neku. That we haven't placed in. So I'm not entirely sure if we can actually fit this in this entire time. We just had it in our inventory. But we'll buy the ladder bag for right now. Slot in over here. And if we add in Maneki Neku in this position. It's a little bit off. But anyways, we managed to get our setup to be something like this. Then we have triple Maneki Nekus in. Which should be crazy good. We actually have them all triggered here. We got that little bit of healing efficiency on this hard container. I love to add this hard container in here, but we do need this Maneki Neku in this position to be actually triggering this one. As well as this one triggering off each other. But overall, that should be amazing. Let's go ahead and add in our luck. We can't fit in our squirrel right now. So we'll continue to roll here. And do we sell our squirrel in hopes of taking this identified ammo? Do one final gamble. Damn it, life here is crazy insane for us. Amplifier healing even further here is just straight up amazing. And with that, that is going to be a fun setup. And honestly, Blood Gubert's Big Ball of Treats, Blood Sorn, with all this whole setup here, is really, really strong. And especially with the Amulets here, we got insanely lucky with the Amulet of Wilds here and two Amulets of Life here. And overall, let's go ahead and see, can we survive here? We'll see, the attack speed here is... On our second here, so we don't need gloves with the Maneki Nekus in. Because all we want to be doing is increasing the speed of all our godly items here. And massive damage incoming. Smashing here. Save. 1 HP. We barely won here. Going up again, Tarn Bloom here. With 43 DPS. We have 51 DPS. And overall, awesome here. The opponent had a lot of spikes second, a lot of hedgehogs. There are also big ball of treats here with Amulet of Wilds as well. But overall, smashing here. But overall, our DPS actually wasn't much stronger than our opponents here. But we did end up healing for a lot more with our armor lives here with a blood gubert. But anyways, we did survive with four lives left here. Let's go ahead and see just how much rank points we got here. Rank it up, plus 14. Really, really awesome here. But anyways, big ball of treats, probably one of my favorite subclasses for the range here. And I'm going to leave it here for now. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope you keep a lookout for the next one. See you next time.